All right, we are back on the bright side, and good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure? Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds or a loved one off their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, how nutrition and nutritional supplementation has changed your life, our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients or something you may have heard about or read about or any comments or questions about our Truth Skin Health products, 844-236-6010. You can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, including our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol, as well as a whole bunch of fat-soluble vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. If you're dealing with aging skin, thinning skin, acne, blackheads, if you want to prevent the formation or if you want to reverse wrinkles and fine lines, retinol and retinoic acid have actually been shown to reverse fine lines and wrinkles and crow's feet. That's why retinoic acid is a prescription drug. It literally has been shown to reverse the effects of aging. Of course, prevention is always better than reversal. It's always easier to prevent than reverse. But nonetheless, if you're dealing with any of these kinds of skin health issues, you want to use our retinol 5% gel, Truth Retinol 5% gel. If you're already using a retinol product, Folks, you're not going to find 5% anywhere. If you've tried to use retinol or retinoic acid in the past, have not been able to, the chances are pretty good that you can use our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, which is, for many folks, maybe even most folks, non-irritating, which is saying something because retinol is typically very irritating. You want to use it every five days or so. If you want one product, go with our Truth Serum. Truth Serum is always the first product to choose. So I get this question all the time. What's the first product I should use? I only want to buy one product. What should I, what should I buy? You want our Truth Serum, which is made with nearly 80% fat-soluble vitamin C. And again, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, so we are talking about the extracellular matrix or the connective tissue if you prefer, the ECM. The ECM, the extracellular matrix. I'm not sure what that is. Is that the music? That was kind of quick. Blakesters, is that our music? How did that happen? Hmm, that's interesting. All right, I guess we're going to take a break. <laughs> I got lots more to say about connective tissue, so hang on. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Is there a stock market bubble in the making? You need an early warning system for your investments because you work too hard to be surprised by your money. Now, guarding your wealth has never been easier. Introducing WealthGuard from OnTheMarkMoney.com, an early warning system that tracks all your accounts. WealthGuard lets you know in advance if your accounts are dropping. It works for all accounts, whether you work with us or not. Get WealthGuard today, 100% free. Go to OnTheMarkMoney.com. That's OnTheMarkMoney.com. Registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs knows the benefits of supplementing with whey protein for optimal health and vitality. 
That's why he recommends protein shakes like the ones available through the Suzanne Division of Longevity. Whey is ridiculously important. In fact, next to human mother's milk, whey protein is the most nutrient-dense food. There's two major proteins in cow's milk, casein and whey. The whey part of milk contains growth factors and immune-stimulating factors, building the immune system. We're talking about cancer. The body has cancer fighters built into it. The body has molecules and entities that kill cancer. Those are part of the immune system. To build and support your your immune system, order the protein shakes from the Suzanne Division of Longevity. Available in chocolate and vanilla. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebib.com. That's brightsidebib.com. Order today. The EPA says the air in our homes is up to five times more contaminated than outside air. The solution is not just to filter your air, but detox it. UVforlife.com now offers a doctor-recommended UVforlife.com sterilization unit to kill over 99% of viruses, bacteria, molds, and dangerous chemicals. Go to UVforlife.com. Add promo code GCN at checkout to save $100. That's UV, the number four, life.com. UVforlife.com. Don't just filter your air. Detox it. Are you looking to become more self-sufficient? Then you need to have your own energy source. The Solark EMP hardened generator is automatic, maintenance-free, and reduces your monthly electric bill. You can also take it off-grid when you go camping. Contact PortableSolarLLC.com or call for details at 972-575-8875 today. Portable Solar LLC gives you everything you need to start using solar energy in less than one hour. Solark EMP hardened solar generator energy insurance for your family or business. Call Portable Solar LLC today. Not valid in all states or where prohibited by law. Loans are subject to lender approval. See website for details. Need some extra cash for Christmas presents this year? Do you have bad credit or maxed out credit cards? If you could use extra cash for Christmas, turn your radio up. 45cash.com specializes in connecting you with a lender ready to give you the cash you need for Christmas. Now you can get a personal loan for up to $5,000 with any type of credit discreetly from your computer or smartphone and with no paperwork to send in. That's right. No paperwork whatsoever. Your cash can hit your bank account as soon as tomorrow, regardless of your credit history. Visit 45cash.com to request up to $5,000 for Christmas spending in no time. Just have a checking account and a regular source of income, and you can get the loan you need now, regardless of your credit. Go to 45cash.com from your smartphone or computer to get the cash you need. Visit 45cash.com. Type www.45cash.com directly into the address bar. That's 45cash.com. 45cash.com. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body Brain and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNTeam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm not sure why we took an early break there, but we did. I think we're going to have a longer segment here. So uh, I have a lot more to say about the connective tissue. I have all kinds of things I want to tell you about heart disease. Carrie Fisher, uh, many of you know Carrie Fisher passed away. The actress Carrie Fisher passed away yesterday, age 60. Her mom is still alive, I think. Debbie Reynolds is still alive. Uh, She died of a heart attack. Uh, Last week, George Michael died, age 53, of heart failure. Uh, of course, none of these pe- none of these folks are, uh, were likely uh, treated as if they had a connective tissue problem. But the heart is largely based the heart health, I should say, is largely based on the health of the heart connective tissue. Nobody talks about these things. This is the only program I've ever heard or I know about where we really, really emphasize the core of the body when it comes to heart health, when it comes to health in general, and that is the core of the body. That is, is the connective tissue. If you're dealing with chronic pain, if you're dealing with inflammation, if you're dealing with uh, the visit 
visible effects of aging, if you're dealing with heart disease, if you're dealing with cancer, or autoimmunity, pretty much any long-term health challenge, you're likely dealing with connective tissue deterioration. And connective tissue is not just about connecting. As we've said, it's about electrifying, it's about feeding, it's about oxygenating, it's about detoxification, it's about everything that's important for health of the cells. All disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is based in dysfunctional, broken down connective tissue. The connective tissue uh, itself is made up of proteins, fibers, ropes, if you will, collagen ropes, and also something called elastin, which give uh, the body a certain resilience and, and tautness which you can observe in young skin, that taut look that young skin has, that your child's skin has is a manifestation of strong, healthy connective tissue. The connective tissue is made up of these fibers as well as jelly material, and the combination of the fiber and the jelly material acts as a matrix or as a mother, as a womb for all of the cells. The connective tissue is the bread to the cell's raisins in our raisin bread model of the body. The body's like raisin bread, the raisins are the cells, the connective tissue matrix is the bread. And the connective tissue is by far and away the major site of attack and the major site of destruction and the major site of deterioration by sugar and by digestive toxicity, particularly digestive toxicity. Digestive toxicity, that is leaky gut syndrome, incompletely digested foods, stuff that's getting into the blood through a broken down digestive tract, all of this will ultimately end up uh, uh, accelerating or, or initiating the deterioration of connective tissue. The connective tissue is also susceptible to the effects of dehydration. This is one of the reasons why we're groggy first thing in the morning. Remember, the connective tissue is electrifying everything. And first thing in the morning, we haven't hydrated for six or seven hours. The connective tissue becomes stiff. The connective tissue is less able to electrify and nourish and energize the cells. This is why when we're one of the reasons, one of the main reasons, maybe the main reason why, when we're dehydrated, we don't feel so good because the connective tissue is responsible for flushing out wastes and acids and, and carbon dioxide. When we're dehydrated, we're toxic. When we're de dehydrated, we're low energy and we're toxic largely because of the effects of lack of water of dehydration on the connective tissue. And first thing in the morning, think about it. First thing in the morning, we've gone at six, eight, nine hours without any uh, hydration. It's obvious that our connective tissue is going to be uh, is going to be less able to move, less able to function, less able to flush out toxins, less able to electrify cells when it is dehydrated, and it's going to be less able to do all these things first thing in the morning. That's one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, why we don't feel so good first thing in the morning. Same thing with uh, immobility. First thing in the morning, our bodies, have, our connective tissue has been immobile for six or eight or nine or ten hours. And so, because the electri uh, electrification of the cells depends on connective tissue movement, first thing in the morning, we're going to be groggy because we don't have enough electrical energy generated. We have a shortage of electrical energy generated to, to uh, energize cells, to sustain cells. All of this is to say there may be a relationship between sticky, globby, frozen up connected, connective tissue and our misunderstanding of the connective tissue and our obsession, American's obsession, and really our worldwide obsession with tea and coffee first thing in the morning and sugar first thing in the morning. The vast majority of us need caffeine first thing in the morning or need sugar first thing in the morning. Could it be that this is just the effect of connective tissue immobilization and connective tissue dehydration that has uh, occurred throughout the evening, throughout the night? Maybe we don't need coffee. Maybe we need water and movement and perhaps nutrition, particularly water-soluble nutrition, the B-complex. This is why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can be such a wonderful supplement first thing in the morning. This is why getting on a rebounder first thing in the morning may be helpful. It improves the generation of electrical energy through the connective tissue. That's what a rebounder does. Even You don't even need a rebounder. Just jogging in place. You know, If you get up in the morning and you jog in place for 60 seconds, maybe stretch a little bit first and then jog in place for 60 seconds, you're going to feel energized. Jog in place to the point where you're huffing and puffing a little bit and as soon as you're, uh, you catch your breath, you're going to notice that you're energized. These are the little, simple, easy things that we can do to improve our health. 
These are the little, simple, easy ideas that will free us from the tyranny of medicalization, from the tyranny of doctor medicalization and from the tyranny of self-medicalization, self-medicalization with caffeine, self-medicalization with, with sugar, self-medication with any of the things, any, any of the drugs that we use, the over-the-counter drugs that we use to get us going in the morning or to help us fall asleep at night. These are the simple little things that we can do. Get on a rebounder, jog in place, drink water first thing in the morning, drink your Beyond Tangy Tangerine first thing in the morning. Movement of the connective tissue is a combination of contraction and relaxation, and it's linked to the muscles. Contraction and relaxation of the muscles results in contraction and relaxation of the connective tissue, and both contraction and relaxation are important. The movement that is the result of a combination of contraction and relaxation creates a pumping action, which generates an electrical charge in the connective tissue and also facilitates the flow and movement of liquids. Human beings are supposed to flow. Remember, we're 60 to 70% water. And this 60, that's an amazing idea when you think about it. We're basically walking puddles. Somehow or another, nature has figured out a way to create a living system that is 60 to 70% water. How can that be? Well, it turns out that that water is locked up in the connective tissue. Much of that water is locked up in the connective tissue. And there's this electrifying action and electrification relationship that occurs between the water and the uh, uh, and the connective tissue. We said yesterday, or we said in the past, how connective tissue ties up water and organizes it and structures it and locks it. That's called crystalline water or bound water. Contraction and relaxation of the muscles causes a movement of this bound water, and that also generates an electrical charge. One of the ways that we get old, one of the ways that we uh, ultimately die, one of the reasons for our chronic pain is something called fibrosis. Fibrosis is the production of excessive amounts of connective tissue. Fibrosis is really ultimately what is responsible for much health misery and ultimately for our demise and for our death. Fibrosis of the lungs, fibrosis of the heart, fibrosis of the kidneys, fibrosis of the liver, fibrosis of the skin, fibrosis of various tissues in the body, which is the result of excessive connective tissue production, which occurs in response to attack, chronic attack, as a protective mechanism. And... All of this is to say uh, why we get such wonderful benefits from relaxation strategies. Relaxation strategies will help facilitate the movement of electrical energy through the connective tissue. So contraction, contraction of the muscles, contraction of the connective tissue creates a flow and so does relaxation. It's this combination of contraction and relaxation that facilitates energy movement, facilitates electrical flow. So we spent a lot of time talking about the connective tissue relationship to the leading cause of death, heart disease. As I, as I said earlier, Carrie Fisher died yesterday. George Michael died last week of heart disease. And no one probably thought to help uh, to, to deal with these conditions, to deal with these issues by helping them generate more connective tissue, by using glucosamine supplements, by using bone soup supplements, by using cartilage supplements. My bone broth protein contains the amino acids responsible for building connective tissue. If you're a vegetarian, you're going to have a little tougher time uh, building your connective tissue. And this is one of the reasons why vegetarians tend to look a little frail. Not always. I'm not saying always. I'm not painting with a broad brush here. You can have bodybuilder vegetarians and athlete vegetarians. But for the most part, if you're a vegetarian, it's going to take a lot of extra work for you to become, uh, to build a strong, healthy body because the amino acids and the nutrients that help you build connective tissue are found in large quantities, in, in most abundant quantities in animal products, whether it's dairy or eggs or, or meat or fish. If you're dealing with heart disease, treat it as a connective tissue problem. It's not a statin drug problem. It's not a calcium channel blocker problem. I guarantee you Carrie Fisher, George Michael, anybody in heart disease is going to be given a statin drug or a, uh, or a calcium or channel blocker or beta blocker when they go to the cardiologist, when they go to, uh, when they go to any doctor. This is standard operating procedure for the medical model. Put you on a statin drug if you, they suspect heart disease or if you've had a heart attack. But if you've been listening to this program, you know that if you have heart disease, you very likely have a, a connective tissue, a heart connective tissue problem. The heart is loaded with connective tissue. 
the heart is loaded with what are called proteoglycans, protein sugar complexes that are found in connective tissue. Don't be put off by the word proteoglycan. I know it sounds all sciencey and chemistry, but all it means is a protein sugar complex, proteoglycan, protein sugar complex. And the heart is packed with these. The blood contains these proteoglycans as well. If you're dealing with arrhythmias or blood clotting issues or mitral valve prolapses or, or aneurysms, or if you're worried about having a stroke, or of course, if you, the biggie, atherosclerosis, which, uh, which is your main, main cause for dispensing statin drugs, these are all related to deteriorating connective tissue. And you can think of heart disease as arthritis of the heart. Everybody knows arthritis is a connective tissue problem. Well, heart disease is arthritis of many cases. Heart disease is arthritis of the heart. The connective tissue is the underlying unifying element behind pretty much all chronic degenerative illnesses. Later on, we're going to talk about uh, celiac disease and ulcerative colitis. And an irritable bowel syndrome as well as leaky gut syndrome as connective tissue problems. The, problem the same connective tissue that holds everything in place in the body and that electrifies the cells underlies the intestine. Underneath the surface of the intestine is connective tissue. Last week we talked about the relationship between Parkinson's disease and leaky gut syndrome. In this way, Parkinson's disease and all neurological health issues are related to uh, deteriorating connective tissue in the intestine. And as far as Parkinson's, I don't want to digress here, but, but Parkinson's disease is unbelievably tragic to me. It is so easy to deal with Parkinson's disease. I remember talking to a gal a few months ago, and she, got, she couldn't believe when I told her that her husband's Parkinson's disease was related to his digestive system. Well, you know, last week we talked about the New Scientist article that came out linking Parkinson's disease, which affects over 10 million Americans, specifically to gut microbes, to, to uh, gut bacteria. And, of course, gut bacteria depend on a healthy intestine and a healthy intestinal lining. Last week, we talked about the relationship of the skin to connective tissue. Everyone wants beautiful skin, but we don't talk about the relationship of the connective tissue to beautiful skin. Driving the production of connective tissue using retinol, using vitamin A, using vitamin C is the ultimate strategy for dealing with the aging effects of skin, uh, 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 the aging of, uh, effects of aging on the skin, and that includes wrinkles, fine lines, and crow's feet. You can uh, address connective tissue in the skin from two directions. This is one of the neat things about the skin. We have we have access to the connective tissue in the skin topically if we're strategic about what we put on top of our skin. Thus, the importance of vitamin C as well as retinol and transdermal penetrating aids that will allow those nutrients to get into the connective tissue. And of course, using vitamin A as a supplement and using vitamin C as a supplement is also important. Using zinc as a supplement is also important, by the way, for driving the production of connective tissue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information right after this on The Bright Side. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, uh, ingredients, formulations, something you may have heard about or read about, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. A couple of news stories here, and then we'll get your calls. Uh, hang tight, and we do have a couple lines open for you, by the way. 844-236-6010. Top 10 prescription drugs filled in the United States in uh, quarter one of 2016 last year. First best-selling drug, Lipitor. Second best-selling drug, Synthroid for the thyroid. Uh, Lipitor, of course, is an anti-cholesterol drug. Third is a high blood pressure drug called uh, Prin uh, uh, Prinavil or Lisinopril. That works on the kidneys. The fourth drug, uh, fourth best-selling drug is uh, Prilosec, uh, used for uh, GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and excessive stomach acid. And the fifth best-selling drug is a diabetes drug. What do all these tell you here? All our drugs, let's look at all the drugs that we're taking. We're taking the best-selling drugs, cholesterol drugs, heart drugs, beta blocker drugs, drugs for, uh, uh, drugs for the digestive system, drugs for uh, the seventh best-selling drug is a, another cholesterol drug, and pain pills. Folks, these are all drugs that we're using for chronic long-term problems that do not have to happen. If we understand how the body's put together, which our doctors should be talking about, if we understand the importance of connective tissue, and of course, if we understand the vital, vital importance of 
of a nutritional supplement program. U.S. spending on health care went from $1.2 trillion to $2.1 trillion, almost doubled since 1996. In the last 20 years, it's almost doubled. Diabetes accounts for most, uh, the vast majority of money that is spent on health care is diabetes. It's the most expensive condition. $101 billion in diagnosis and treatments. Somebody's making that money, by the way. Who's making that money? Doctors are making that money. Drug companies are making that money. Hospitals are making that money. I wonder if nobody wants to kill the goose that lays the golden eggs. Of course, the goose that lays the golden eggs is, is a carnivore. It's a carnivore goose that's eating our health. The goose that lays the golden eggs is dependent on us being sick. The three top spending categories, hypertension, injuries from falls, uh, hypertension, uh, injuries from falls, and diabetes. Now, injuries from falls, okay, you fall, I understand. But high blood pressure, are you kidding me? That's a top spending category? We can't figure out how to lower our blood pressure without going to the doctor and without taking drugs? High blood pressure is a classic sign, folks, of a body that is in distress. High blood pressure is a classic sign of an activated emergency nervous system. This is what accounts for our long-term chronic health challenges. The body is in distress. That's pretty much it. Inflammation, which is behind all chronic degenerative diseases, is a protective mechanism. It's not to be suppressed, it's to be understood. Fibrosis, which is also behind chronic degenerative health challenges, is a protective mechanism. It is not to be suppressed, it is to be understood. Fibrosis and inflammation are a sign that the body is protecting itself from something, just common sense tells you. If your body is in distress, and if you're manifesting the signs of, if you're manifesting illness as a sign of a body that's protecting itself, the question tells you, the, the common sense question is, what is the body protecting itself from? And you will find it is protecting itself from our lives, our lifestyle, our choices, particularly our choices about food. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us go to the Garden State, New Jersey, and welcome Lynn to the Bright Side. What's up, Lynn? Good morning. Hi, Pharmacist Ben. Hey. Can you hear me okay? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on? Where, are you, where in Jersey are you, by the way? Um, Cherry Hill. Cherry Hills, New Jersey. All right. What's going on? How, how can we help you? Oh, too much of your time, of course. Um, okay. But um, I don't know if I should start with giving you some of my symptoms. Just tell us, first of all, what's the big problem? And then we'll, I'll, let me ask you questions, and we'll figure, out, figure it out from there. Okay. All right. The biggest thing I would say is um, anxiety, nervousness, and um, irritability. Okay. Um, I can't fall asleep, or I can fall asleep at night, but then I wake up and I toss and turn. Okay. Um, I have extremely so dry skin and acne. Okay, so, so lots of stuff going on there. Now, the anxiety is... Okay, that's all right. We'll, we'll take care of you here. The anxiety and the problem sleeping are the manifestation or the end result of stress hormones, of some kind of burden. Now, these stresses are, as you probably know if you've heard, heard this program before, the stresses come in two, two flavors. You've got psychological stresses, that is emotional and mental stresses, and then you have physiologic stresses. A lot of times when we hear the word stress, we think, oh, you know, my, my ex-husband or my bills or my job. And true, those are, those are definitely causes of, uh, of a, an exaggerated or an increased or enhanced stress response. But physiologic things can cause problems as well. Now, I'm not going to address the, the emotional or mental thing, uh, issues, although those need to be addressed and you've got to consider those. But from a physiologic perspective, the biggest reasons why, uh, the biggest causes of stress are number one, sugar, and number two, digestive toxicity. You can also throw low blood oxygen or hypoxia into to the equation, but the first thing you want to focus on is food, all right? So look to do, uh, if you have acne, chances are uh, also good that your body is responding to food, to something that's getting into the blood, most likely food as well, and it could easily be sugar. Much acne is a type of diabetes. You know, they used to use diabetes drugs to treat acne. So dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar and problems with the insulin, with the hormone insulin, the, the sugar metabolizing hormone insulin are often behind acne as well. So the first thing I would be doing is uh, fasting for a couple days and then doing the elimination diet. Yesterday we talked, by the way, to a 
gal who was uh, experiencing cystic acne, and I ended up talking to her yesterday uh, on the phone, and, and sure enough, she was dealing with some severe digestive health issues, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and, uh, and the like. Do you know that you have digestive health issues, gas, bloating, discomfort after foods, uh, constipation, anything like that, loose stools? Well, Do you know okay. about just yes I'm or no, because I, I want to ask the question here. Yes or no? Um, yes, but I'm, I am on the supplements already. On the okay, good. But you have a history that way? Yes. Okay, good. That's yes, great. Loading, that, that, really that's bad. all great. That's good news because now you're ahead of the game. Now all you have to do, a lot of folks don't even know they have these issues because they go under the radar. So you're ahead of the game. You're, you've already taken, the, you, the fact that you know you have these issues, you've already taken the first couple of steps. So now you've got to link them to foods, link the problems to foods. Just fast and then uh, for a couple of days or do a Swero V cleanse from longevity and then do a food diary and link the specific problems to foods and then you're going to want to eliminate the foods. Don't be, you know, don't be have any preconceived notions about what a good food is or a bad food, see what those good foods are for you or those bad foods are for you. And then you're going to eliminate those foods. Then you want to start patching up the gut using uh, probiotics, the nightly essence, as well as uh, foods that help support probiotics, fiber especially, vegetable juices, bone soup, which can support the health of the digestive system by uh, helping build the connective tissue in the intestine. So anything you do for digestive health. The next thing you're going to want to do is stabilize your blood sugar. That means getting off of foods that spike your sugar as best as you can. Potatoes, rice, cereals, breads, of course, sweets and fruit juices and cake and candy. All that has, all that will mess up your blood sugar. And then use nutrients to help support blood sugar. And interestingly, the nutrients that help support blood sugar also support skin health. So that will also support your skin. Now, I got, I'm going to give you a list. I've got to take a break here. But I'm going to give you a bunch of supplements to take. And I'm going to give you some good strategies for helping to calm the body down. So don't go away, Lynn. We'll do that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back. And we do have a, a line open at 844-236-6010. We will return with more good health information on The Bright Side right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Lynn in Jersey, in Cherry Hills, New Jersey. Hello, Lynn. You there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so first... Uh, work on the digestive issues. You know, when you fast, you're going to notice that the body is in, starts to calm down a little bit. After we eat any kind of food, whether it's a food that we're having a problem with or any kind of food, the body goes into some kind of stress mode just to deal with the food. And that's a good food, let alone a food that you're having a problem with or a food that's uh, getting into the blood through a leaky gut. So focus on food, use uh, uh, fasting techniques, fast for a couple of days, and then do a, an elimination diet with a food diary, and then eliminate problem foods, and then use foods that help patch up the Gut, particularly bone broth protein, which you can get from brightsidehealthproducts.com. I'm sorry, brightsidehealth.com, and then uh, and then also uh, cartilage products like chicken soup, bone soup. The Fucoid Z can help. Polysaccharides, long chain sugars can help coat and soothe the digestive system, uh, digestive tract, and help he uh, heal uh, a connective tissue if you're dealing with leaky gut. Also, good bacteria can help. You might want to consider the ketogenic diet, which can also be uh, have some nice mood stabilizing effects. Effects. Uh, the ketogenic diet can. Apple cider vinegar after meals may help you as well. Apple cider vinegar is also a source of short chain fatty acids, which can have a, a, a calming effect on, the, on your mood if you're dealing with anxiety issues. Uh, uh, GABA, G A B A supplements, 100 milligrams a day or 100 milligrams a night, actually, probably best. Magnesium has a calming effect on the body. Uh, also, uh, essential fatty acids may help you. Um, and then melatonin, of course, can help you sleep. Don't forget about sleep slow, deep breathing, I would recommend two nice, warm baths every day or two hot showers every day, or if you're lucky enough to have a hot tub in the backyard, soaking in the hot tub a couple of days, a couple of times a day can help also. Very calming to the, uh, has a very calming and soothing effect on the connective tissue and the muscles, which can also affect your mood. And then practicing, uh, as I say, practicing slow, deep breathing on a regular basis, two or three times a day can help as well. Uh, as far as the mental and emotional aspects, those need to be addressed. Don't underestimate the importance of psychological strategies, but that's not, I'm not going to get into 
too, too much. Uh, I don't want to get into that now, but just to advise you that those are a- absolutely critical aspects. It's not only physical health. There's mental and emotional strategies that need to be addressed, especially if you're dealing with anxiety and sleep issues. Uh, last but not least, make sure that you're using zinc, 50 milligrams a day for your skin. Uh, zinc picolinate, also vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day is very important uh, for the skin. And you might want to check out our blemish repair complex at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Does that help you, Lynn? Yes. Okay, good deal. Have a beautiful day, and happy holidays to you in New Jersey. I'm glad you called. Okay, thank you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go to Craig in New York. Good morning, Craig. Welcome to the Bright Side. Uh, Greetings, Bright Side, Ben. Greetings, Uh, Craig. What's going on, bro? uh, I just want to say that uh, not since Carlton Fredericks has there been anyone on the radio as significant as you when it comes to nutrition. Whoa, that's awesome. I loved, I I didn't ever heard Carlton Fredericks, but I loved what he was talking about, and I was a big fan of Dr. Atkins. So thank you. That is a huge, huge compliment. I appreciate that. Did Did you listen to Carlton? I, I, I listened to him for about uh, six years, and I took uh, three courses with him. He taught at Fairleigh Dickinson University, and I took three wow. nutrition courses with him. So, Are you a nutritionist, or what's your background? Yeah. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is awesome, Craig. Thank you. That's, yeah. that's, that means a lot to me. That, that's a great, yeah. great compliment. I appreciate that. Yeah, so so what's... Uh, I have a situation on, near my elbow on the, on to the right of it, and a little bit up. I get this burning sensation that's pretty consistent and constant. Got it. And, and I, I, I don't remember injuring it, but I, I guess maybe I'm just overusing it or whatever. Maybe. This, it's, a, it's a connective tissue problem. It could be neuropathy. Are you dealing with any weight problems or blood pressure problems or diabetes or no, anything like that? My, Nothing? my weight is, uh, I'm, I'm 142 and I'm 5'7". So. Okay, that's pretty good. And you're a nutritionist, yeah. so you probably know what you're doing. Can I ask you how old you are? Uh, 63. And you're supplementing? Oh, tons. I'm, I'm taking 94 supplements a day. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So it's, are you doing longevity, by the way? Mm, no, it's it's longevity would be too um, minor for me. I mean, I'm, I'm taking Okay, you're, I got gotcha. you. Longevity is for, I know exactly what you're saying. If you're a nutritionist, then you want to put together your own program. I understand mm-hmm. that. Okay, yeah. so, so here's the deal. It does sound like a neuropathy issue, and the only way to really address that, as I'm sure you understand, is to look for multiple symptoms in the body. You're not going to be able to address that specifically, although you maybe want to try some CM cream or something along those lines uh, just to get some palliative, some symptomatic relief. What, but what actually, is CM? cream. I'm sorry, cetylmyristoliate cream. It's a longevity oh, product. Okay, okay. Cetylmyristoliate is a fatty acid that's got some tremendous anti-inflammatory effects when applied topically. I mean, really mind-blowing. And I've been using it now for, for several decades. Mm-hmm. But it's more palliative. It's more for symptoms. It's not going to help you with the problem if you're dealing with deterioration, which you very well might be. Mm-hmm. If that is the case, then you've got to look for some other symptoms. And most especially, as I'm sure you understand, I would be looking for leaky gut issues, something that's getting into the blood that's causing a breakdown of the connective tissue. I imagine that you're already supplementing with cartilage containing a, a cartilage type uh, or cartilage building supplements, things like vitamin C and glycine and bone broth and cartilage well, I'm doing, itself. I'm doing vitamin C, I'm doing MSM, and I'm doing Good. glucosamine. And, and glucosamine. And and are you doing any cartilage? Are you vegetarian or anything like that? No, no. Go with the bone soup do, and bone broth protein as well. Anything that you could do to build the produ- uh, generate the production of connective tissue. But I'd be concerned why the connective tissue is deteriorating. And to me, that always the first thing is always going to be digestive issues and then blood sugar issues. So th- as a nutritionist, you know what to look for. Uh, you said if your weight's good and your, your blood pressure is okay, then your chances are you're not dealing with anything drastic in terms of dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar. But the burning sensation is an indicator that, that there's some kind of neuropathy that's going on. And usually that's secondary to, second, to connective tissue deterioration. So look for the food thing. Uh, you may want to start working with blood sugar, although it sounds like you're okay there. But it never, it never hurts to use things like the B-complex and zinc and magnesium and selenium and sulfur and taurine, the amino acid taurine. Uh, if you're, already, you're probably already doing essential fatty acids, but you may either want to up your dose, or you may want to uh, use liquid essential fatty acids if you're not already using them. Yeah, I'm, you get I'm, taking, I'm taking two fish oil a day and two borage oil capsules a day. The, the liquid 
will get you more bang for your buck. Okay. The capsules are more for convenience. The liquids out of the bottle will get you more bang for your buck. And you know I love Udo's blend. Uh, that's my favorite of the of the um, EFA supplements. Yeah, and I'm I always go with it. go with the liquids rather than the capsules. Okay. The, the capsules are more for traveling and, and, and when you're at work and such. Uh, and also make sure you're using vitamin E with your uh, EFAs if you're not already. And then throw in some alpha lipoic acid, which can have some really nice effects for folks who are dealing with neuropathies. Maybe I'm 400. doing 200 twice a day on that. And Good deal. And, four, and 400 of the mixed vitamin E twice a day. Good deal. So just up your EFAs. Up your EFAs. Look for other symptoms and then work on those other symptoms, especially digestive. And if there's any uh, blood sugar issues, which doesn't sound like there is, but maybe they're subtle, uh, that, that's where I would be working. And thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it, Craig. You have, you a, have a great New Year's. Huh? You too as well. Good to talk to you, man. All right. Uh, Sonia in Idaho. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hello. Sonia? Sonia. Sonia, is that how you Shana. say it? Uh, Sean, Shana. I'm sorry. I'm Shana. From Idaho. I hey. fell two and a half weeks ago on some cement steps. It was really slick. And, yeah. you know, just on one side of my derriere. And it's like I, it's not sore now, but I have this bump, and it's about the size of my hand when it's open, and it won't go away, and I don't know. You got a big bump on your butt, huh? Yeah, like okay. three cheeks now. But it, <laughs> But it doesn't hurt, though, right? No. Let it go down on it its did own. For a while, did for two weeks, but now it doesn't hurt. But I it'll still got it'll go down. It'll go down on its own. Is it purple or anything? Oh, my whole rear end went purple, but it's is it getting not better? Now. Are you noticing the purple is going away? Yeah, that's all you, going away. You took a severe ball. You must have had a severe fall. You must have had a severe fall. Make sure you're using vitamin K. Uh, maybe a thousand to two, a thousand to two thousand micrograms of vitamin K two a day, uh, and that's pretty pretty easy to find. Everybody with bruising, vitamin K. Anybody who hurts themselves in terms of a fall, I should say, uh, vitamin K is amazing for helping uh, improve the uh, circula circulation and improve healing post bruise healing. And then also, uh, and then also, uh, I would be using making sure that you're getting enough connective tissue building protein, bone broth protein uh, is important, uh, and also bone broth itself, and then uh, digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes and vitamin K are the two main supplements that you want to be using uh, uh, post-bruising and also pre-bruising, and by that I mean pre-surgery, if you're going to go into surgery. Vitamin E can help, 400 international units of vitamin E. Um, I like the mixed tocopherols, as you know. Make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs, nine capsules a day, and then I would be doing high dose of vitamin C. Don't go into gas or bloating. If you take too much vitamin C, you can get a little bloating. Uh, you don't want to go there. So uh, maybe anywhere from two to three, even up to five grams of vitamin C a day in divided doses. Of course, you'll get a bunch of vitamin C in the beyond. Tangy tangerine. And that's all the time of we have course. for today. Thanks. Thanks, Sonia. Good to okay. talk to you. Thanks. Happy holidays. All right. Sorry if we left you on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com or retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 healing cream. If you want to join me in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money at the same time, call our phone team, the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.